Going YouTube, Broke Boy Tactical here, and I hope everyone's having a great day. I uh, just came back from the doctor. Uh, these are my sunglasses. I have a, an eye doctor, I think I should specify. I have a little bit of sensitivity to light, so I'm sitting here inside with my sunglasses on. So in case you're like, what the fuck is this tool doing? <laughs> That's what I'm doing, okay? So, I need to address something. Stop asking me legal advice. I'm a smart guy, but I am a comparable beginner upper level beginner, lower level intermediate level shooter. And yes, I do have knowledge on self-defense law. That's part of gun ownership, but you have to understand, guys, I live in Texas. I live in a different state than you probably. Unless you live in Texas, I can't help you. I've got no information for you. And even the information that I have, I would never recommend in a million years that you take my word for it. Now I am correct. I have sat down with lawyers. I have had consultations with lawyers. I have talked to law enforcement and how they handle the law and what they deem reasonable and everything like that. I have a good grasp on what I'm allowed to do here in Texas, but you still shouldn't take my fucking word for that. Ever. Ever. The best advice I can give you is that carrying one of these puts you in more danger of yourself than anybody else if you are ignorant of the law. You cannot just rely on federal law, state law. You can throw all that out the window, especially if you live in a major city. Even in a small township, they may have special ordinances on what you're allowed to carry, how much you're allowed to carry, when you're allowed to carry, where you're allowed to carry. You need to know. Do you, live in a, do you live in a state with castle doctrine? Do you, live, do you have stand your ground law? Do you have a duty to retreat? Do, uh, do, you have a, do you have certain types of ammunition that you're not allowed to carry? Some places won't allow you to carry hollow points. Okay, so you cannot just listen to some fucking YouTuber and you shouldn't be asking any YouTuber, even if he's a lawyer, Unless you are sitting in his office and you can see his degrees and you're having an actual legal consultation where you could sue the shit out of him if he's giving you bad information, do not listen to anybody. Anybody. Not your police buddies. Nothing. You need to talk to a lawyer. It's a good idea to get uh, the local perspective from the police department on how they choose to handle the law regarding self-defense. But that doesn't mean they know the law. But it is a good idea to know, hey, I know permitless carries a thing, but how do you guys feel about it? You want to be really surprised? Lano, Texas? Oh, they're totally against it. They will give you a hard fucking time if you're a permitless carrier. It doesn't matter if you're within the realm of the law. They're going to make you wish you never permitless carried that day. Okay? See what I mean? Some police officers, some, some officers have bias. They don't give a fuck about the law. You see what I mean? You never should be asking me or anybody about the law, ever. Contact a lawyer. See you guys next time.